Hi everybody and welcome. I have this cute little tea pocket that I like to show to you. It's super easy. You only need three little pieces of fabric and a snap. It holds the tea pockets. It's a really good gift or for yourself to travel with. Um, it even holds a little coffee tea bags. Um, I want to show you how quick and easy this is. And what you'll need is one piece that is four by four. I made a template out of some cardstock. Another piece that is five and a half by four. And on that five and a half by four piece, what I did to get the rounded corner, I mean not the rounded, but the tapered corners, was I took this piece and I folded it exactly in half and then I took, let me get my scissors here, and cut the corners off just like that. That way your corners are exact and you'll come out with a piece that looks like this. So it's really easy to do. You can use interfacing in this if you like. It just makes it a little bit stiffer, but it's not required. And we're going to make it, um, I had ironed some interface and I used scraps in here. You don't have to. So if you're going to do that, you're, you're going to need two pieces that are five and a half by four. Your outer case part and your inner case part and then you will need a pocket that matches the outer face so that you have your pocket here. So we cut two pieces of the inner face. This is the 4x4. Four four. What you're going to do is you're going to fold it down a quarter of an inch, press it, fold it another quarter of an inch and press it and then we're going to sew this. Let me switch my bobbin thread first because we'll end up running out. I should have did that before I started. That way we don't run out of thread. So I'm going to stitch that where we press that. This is going to be the pocket. And I'm going to double stitch. I'm going to stitch along the bottom here and along the top. If you don't want to, you can just put one stitch line in there. It's totally up to you what you prefer, but it only requires one stitch line. But I'm going to do two. Thread. This is super fast to make. We'll trim off those threads. Now we have our pocket and you can see where I double stitched on here. You can put one or two. Now all you're going to do is you're going to take your outer piece and lay that on the bottom. You'll take your pocket, put the pretty sides together line that up and then take your outer piece and lay that face down so the face to, um, to face here we're going to put this on here we're going to pin it I use cardstock just to make a pattern and then that way you can whiz through cut a bunch and make them these are great gifts, craft fair, or even for personal size. What we're going to do now is we're going to sew all the way around here. We're going to leave the bottom open. I'm going to do a quarter inch uh, seam allowance, back stitching. When I get to the top, all I do is leave my needle down, pivot my fur foot, and go up to the next. Uh, peak, pivot my foot, and I'm just lifting it and going down along here, get to that point, and then come down here in a quarter of an inch all the way around. 
and backstitch them when I get to the end. These are so super fast to make. I'm just going to trim off some excess threads. We're going to turn this um, right side out. And now it should look like this. We're going to do our corners up here and bring them out. I'm just using a dowel rod to bring the corners out. That way they look nice. You could stitch around that if you'd like. I'm going to press this real quick. I'll be right back. At the same time when I pressed it, what I did was I I folded the top over and I pressed it like this so now you have the top. I'm going to put my snap in and you'll need a snap stool, uh, tool. I got this whole kit for $19 on Amazon. It came within two days. It comes with a bunch of different sizes, everything that you need and all the different snaps. I chose the pastel one. I'm going to order the solid colors, uh, neutral colors for the other. So I'm going to take, I want my, you're going to, let's see, show you, if I can show you on this piece of paper. Get this up without. These are the snaps. Whoops. You're going to need two with a pointy, uh, any and an Audi uh, snap, as I call them, a female and a male and two that look like thumbtacks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the piercing tool that they give us. I'm going to put a little hole. Let's see, I want my snap right about here. So, you know, determine where you want your snap. I'm going to put a little hole in there. And I'm going to move that around so that the snap and the outer part the flat with a looks like a tack goes on the out part and then it doesn't matter if you put the male or the female first it's up to you I'm gonna do the female one then you take this snap tool and you make sure the one that looks like a thumb tap goes into here and the other part goes on the soft part and you just squeeze down and your snaps on. Then you will take it with your snap uh, right here and you're just going to lift it and you're going to mark right there where the snap is going to go so that you know where to put it. I'm just barely um, holding my uh, piercing tool here. I'm going to grab a hold of the fabric and then I'm going to put a hole through because I don't want to go through both pieces of fabric just moving it around then what we're going to do is we're going to take the part that looks like a thumbtack and put that underneath if I can find my hole with this dark fabric it's uh, hard to see and I don't have my glasses on so it makes it even harder left them downstairs. I don't know why, but I did. There we go. So we got that in there. Now we're going to take the other one, the male, and I'm going to put that on top. And then we just slide this in, put the little cap thing inside that little dish, and squeeze down. And now we got a snap. So now what we'll do is we'll turn this part wrong side out again. Lay that flat. You can pin it if you'd like. And we're just going to do a quarter inch seam allowance around the bottom. I like to double stitch it. That way I know it's secure. You don't have to. You can just do one. But I like to double stitch. 
so I'll go over it once and then I'm just going to turn it and go over it again. And then I'm just going to nip the corners, any excess thread, reduce the balk in here a little bit, and make sure you don't cut your seam. And then we just turn it back out, and it's done. That's how quick these things are. I'll use the dowel rod. I would use a dowel rod to turn. Um, I hear people say they use knitting needles, um, pliers, knitting needles and all that. Anything with a pointed edge is going to put a hole in your fabric in your work. Then we just, it's snapped, it's done, and it holds about four or five tea bags in here. And I'm going to make a bunch of these for the craft fair and Christmas gifts this year. And this is how cute they are. And they're fast. You can use up all your scrap doing this. They make great gifts. You don't need much to do it. Um, so please try and let me know what you think. And have a blessed day.